Shalom. So, today we're going to look at this from the standpoint of men, where we hold on to beliefs. Sometimes we are not aware of it, or it doesn't show up this way to us in our understanding. Right? We hold the belief that all women are whole, or they're all the same. Right? But are they all the same? No. Let's look at this. Again, if I had 10 women, right? This 10 is always going to be individual, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? No. This 10, the truth is, they're not the same. They're not the same. They're all different. What is the same? Me. This one person here is the common denominator, has the same experience. The experience is the same. And I, or me, is the same. But this thing over here, they are not the same, right? So, in order for us to fix this, or for us to, con to, uh, to discontinue adding numbers, we have to fix this belief. This is not the problem. The they is not the problem. This is the problem. The person that holds on to the belief. Right, so this belief becomes problematic whenever this person meets anyone. Right, so the first thing is always gonna attract the same types of women. Right, usually, women of low values are known, probably women who have no principles or standards, just women out there that are throwing their bodies around who are not. Um, willing to follow a man who are not, you know, have no mindset towards progressing or, you know, growing in a healthy way. So what happens is we say all women are whore. What this belief does is it prompts us into actions. What are the actions that us men take when we hold on to this belief? We go towards women who are already this right we're not going to women with high standards or principles or women who stand for something we are going to go to these people to confirm the belief that's the only thing the belief is doing the belief is leading us in a path to confirm that it is true and the more you believe it is the more deceived you are and the longer you stay in that deception, it, it goes to a point where you are deluded, right? We are now deluded by this belief to the point where we cannot see the reality that not all women are whore. So it doesn't matter what type of woman you meet, even if she's loyal, she has principles, standards, everything. We already push them in that category. The belief already does it. So sometimes even... Us, the men, are not even aware that this is happening because we never went through the proper meditation process to really see the reality or what it actually is. We only see things for how our beliefs filter the reality of things, of them, right? So most of the times, this is really coming from, the, the root of this is really coming from The root is really coming from a place of hurt. What happens is sometimes we have this one person that you know we really had a strong feeling, had a love, had a strong love, or whatever it is, or some mindset or some objective towards, and then when that gets shattered because we never really overcome the hurt or dealt with it the proper way, 
what happens is we just form a fixed concept of that one relationship because in, in a lot of cases it's not five six seven women who who this um destroy the man's illusion right it can be just one right so because of that hurt and we never put that proper interpretation on the experience no this is what happens we hold on to these beliefs that all women so what we do we treat all women the same way never never able to distinguish to say oh this is this woman is really different uh i did not know these type of women still exist you know what i mean so we never never get to see it because we never did this forgive and not just about forgive the person that caused the hurt or the pain it's not about that it's about forgiving the experience right because forgiving the person that's gonna automatically come with forgiving the experience so once you forgive what had happened or what even if you contributed to some part of it right you have to forgive the entire experience so naturally the other person would be forgiven but because we do not do this then this is the result it's by default right so all these things they form they are formed based on the experiences that we have it shaped our new reality right so in order for us to fix this we have to start to examine the self examine the common denominator right we as men need to start looking to ourselves and start to fix these things otherwise we're going to keep contributing to the problem right and then what we do know with women who are actually you know women who have virtue what we actually do with them is we push them out of the picture and also when we meet, do meet them we end up doing to them what was done to us so because of lack of forgiveness this thing this hurt and pain and betrayal it becomes a cycle right so you're just destroying good people right you are not repairing the broken you are destroying the unbroken right so a lot of us hold on to these beliefs and we need to rid ourselves of them through proper self-examination and to understand also when you are hurt understand that you're human it can happen right but the more we pretend to be tough and we keep doing these things is the less attention we pay to oh i'm hurt the reason i'm doing this is not because all women are hurt. it's because i'm hurt it's because i did not forgive right so it's all the, our actions prompted by these beliefs are always going to lead us to women who are of no standards women who have no principles right and we keep confirming this belief so we always say all women are the same no we are the ones that are the same right shalom